How are they behaving on those important pages? This is a pretty funky report that doesn't always work perfectly, full disclaimer. But under the content section, right at the bottom, you'll find in-page analytics. It's not perfect. This is Andrew's site. No commercially, commercially sensitive data here, I believe. Uh, but it'll show me, even on the mega menus, what are people clicking on? Now, there's a lot of stuff on there, but that can be very, very useful to dig into for you. you know, finding out that a lot of people are clicking on this section, very, very few people are clicking on this stuff down here. For you, that might be a very useful report. Lee, I'm going to use yours as an example. There's a, another way that you can look at this report, and that is a new one. It's kind of like a hotspot. So the red is where lots of people click. The blue is where very few people click. I find that a more useful view of that same data. Now, that may not work for you. It depends on how your website's built, but give it a try. And if you really want to get geeky, search for in-page analytics custom code on Google and send that to your friendly web geek. Uh, there are some little tweaks you can make that will track different different links to the same page, basically. If I've got um, a specials link up here, if this image goes to specials and I've got something else down the bottom here that also goes to specials, at the moment, for the standard report, they'll all give me the same number. But there's probably a very different number of people clicking on the link up the top compared to the link down the bottom. Yes? Um, <clears throat> another great tool is Crazy Egg. I was going to mention that. <coughs> Crazy Egg and Clicktail are also great tools if you want additional insight, particularly for this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I love Crazy Egg, Clicktail. They'll show me a heat map of not just where people are clicking on stuff that's clickable. That's the key. Analytics is only going to show you links that people clicked on. If you've got a dirty, great image here, but it doesn't go anywhere, then none of these reports are going to tell you that people were clicking them. Stuff like Crazy Egg and Clicktail will actually show you little crosses all over this image because they track where the mouse moves and when someone clicks the mouse, all these people are trying to click this image. Make it clickable, make it go somewhere, probably make more money. But this is fairly new inside analytics, quite a useful report. Mm -hmm.